Welcome back to Deck Night, guys. Tonight we're going down a different route. No bourbon for you. Tonight we got Canadian whiskey. We're testing the Blantons of Canada, Caribou Crossing, to see if we can beat the king of Canada, Crown Royal. Just a second. All right, Deck Knight, we're back to see how this Caribou Cross stands up against Crown. Now, we got this Caribou Crossing here with its awesome top and its great looking bottle. Is the juice inside the bottle worth a damn? We're about to find out. What do you think? Well, we've already drank a little bit of it. Well, what do you, what do you think compared to Crown, which is like the mainstay of Canadian whiskey? Do you think it's going to be able to I compete like with it? Do you think it's worth all the hype? I hope so. I hope it's better than Crown. I do too, but they're both Canadian, obviously, Canadian whiskeys. That's why we're doing this. I do like its top. The, the topper is awesome. It's even better than Blanton's, I think. I think so. And that's why, I, you know, they call it the Blanton's of Canada. I've heard it called the Blanton's of Canada. Is it really? I don't know. Is that really what it's referred to as? Who knows? I've heard people say it, and it's obvious why, because it's a Sazerac company. It's not a Buffalo Trace product. From Sazerac, who owns Buffalo Trace. So it's got the same cool top as Blanton's. It's got the same wax-covered, twist-off things. It's, and, and to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure that's a Rock Hill bottle. So Sazerac is just double-dipping on what they already got. Good for them. Which works for them. I mean, it, it works. I mean, Sazerac and Buffalo Trace, yeah, obviously got their marketing shit together. So yes. why not stick so with it? So is a lot of people buying this? Do you have that? It's allocated. Oh, it is. It's and hard to find. how much did we pay for it? 50 bucks. Oh, we paid 50 bucks? Yes, because we got it at our North Shore Wine and Spirits. So how much would it normally be? I don't like, know. I have zero clue on what the allocated price on this would be. But I tell you what's not allocated, Crown. So... Have you guys tried the Crown, um... Peach? Peach. It's so good. It's like sugar. But, so good. but it tastes great. Uh, so let's get into these guys. Let's talk about what they are. So they're both 80 proof. So it's, you know, whiskey flavored water. They are, let's see, Crown, you know, I like saying people have, you know, the nuts to say what their product is made from. So Crown is a 65% corn, 32% rye, and 3% barley. So they have the nuts. The nut. They got the nuts. Aged in old bourbon barrels. And it's owned by the Diageo company, which I think... I remember correctly is this, they own Jim Beam too. I'm not sure about that. Someone check me on. And it's done at the Crown Royal Distillery. So who knows? Anything about anything more about that? So but, Crown Royal Distillery Inc. Yes, I would imagine so. It's a product of Canada and it is imported by the Crown Royal Company to Norwalk, Connecticut, product of Canada. And uh, we don't normally keep Crown in the house because it's not bourbon. So I went and bought this baby bottle just for this video. Next, the Caribou Crossing. It's uh, undisclosed. What a surprise. It's owned by Sazerac, Buffalo Trace, no undisclosed is all that stuff. Nuts are really tiny. <laughs> it's old Montreal distillery. Uh, and it, like I said, it's owned by Sazerac and their official name is French. So it probably sucks. <laughs> So we'll see. All right, let's crack these suckers. I'll pour the crown, you pour the caribou. Okie dokie. That one didn't have a pop. No, I think it's because it's a small bottle. Mm -hmm. I think if it had a full and bottle, it would have a real top popper. I can't remember though. I haven't had crown in a while. Crown doesn't have a popper. I don't remember. But they are missing a great opportunity because it's a crown. It could be a crown, like a good pop top that's oh, really yeah, cool. Oh yeah, that would be cool. So uh, um, if, if you guys want to do that, if, if we get the royalty. Well, um, well, I don't think we should, we should do one at a time. Yeah, let's start with crown. Got legs. Yep. Little legs. It's thin. It is. It's 80 proof though. You expect it to be? No, 80 proof does not sound good to me at all. No, and it's it's. Amber. Isn't that it's sad? Color. 80 proof. You'd think that's like a beer. What is that? Beers, they don't proof beers. They're just percentage. Some beers like 4%, so it would be 8 proof. Doesn't have any smell at all. Yeah, it does. Very small. Nothing. No no notes, no vanillas, caramels, sweetnesses, nothing. It's just, it's really, it doesn't have much smell at all. It smells like, you know what it reminds me of? Ice cream. The wood of, like when you eat an ice, like a chocolate ice cream sickle or something, and you have the, the stick. The stick, yeah, what I smell. called a popsicle stick. That thing. Not a popsicle. I'm not talking about fruit. I'm talking like a chocolate Still one. Still a popsicle stick. No. I don't know. When drinking this, it's like I can, let me just put some ice and some crown in there and I can guzzle it like water. No, there's no front, no back, no nothing. It's just basic. I mean, 80, 80, 80 proof ancient age has flavors to it. This. It's definitely, um, a mixing. I don't know who, I guess people drink it with um, Crown and Sprite. Is that what they do? Maybe. Crown and Sprite. Crown and anything. It, it has a little back. I, I feel it in the back. It's, it takes a minute, but it, it goes down your throat. What it does. does that mean? It's, it's like going down and burning a little bit. Nothing else. They all go down your throat. You mean, I mean like you can feel it coating. Like 
getting to my stomach liner. Water, Ooh. cold water does that too. True, I should probably have had more water today actually. Okay, nothing's changing. No. So we should probably should well, stop that's our second that. taste. You always gotta that do two. That was my third. But you go ahead, oh. is anything changing? No, it's it's weak, it's, it's whiskey flavored water. Um, I don't think there's any properties to that that would make me wanna say, man, I need to drink that by itself. There's really I mean, no flavors to it. Vanilla, apple, peach. Now, I have. it's been over a year since I've had any of those actually. I think we might have to see if that's the same. Yeah, but it's just vanilla. It's just peach. It's just overpowering of those particular flavors. It has zero qualities of a whiskey that why would you drink? What is it we have all these hundreds of bottles in there for and we all taste against them and say, well, I taste this, I taste that. It has this unique flavor, that unique flavor. This has nothing. And then when you is drink a peach. Is there bourbons that have flavoring yeah, in it? Yeah, Jim Beam makes flavored. Is that it? As far as I know. I'm sure. Hey, tell us. Answer. I don't, I, I've seen Jim Beam flavored peach, vanilla, all the weird crap. And they're probably just trying to jump on that bandwagon so people will buy a Jim Beam instead of, they're not, people aren't buying peach Jim Beam because they want to taste bourbon. They're just trying to get the market of people who want that vanilla flavored whiskey. Yeah. All right, let's try the Sazerac branded Caribou Crossing Legs. Wait, let me get a, we need a drink water. I don't need to, I don't taste anything anymore. Mild legs, nothing really same. Same about kind of the same as Crown. Light color, it's 80 proof. So, I mean, they're both Canadian whiskeys. You know, at least that one's, I don't even know where this one's made. So it might be Canadian, it might be French too. Who knows? French shit. Yeah, it doesn't smell any better. I don't smell anything about that. That makes me says that's amazing. Mm, I completely, I smell notes on this one. Well, what do you, what are they? It's like a, almost like a caramel and some fruit, like a dried apple. I think it smells good. It's good. Maybe some honey, smell honey. No, I just smell the alcohol. Okay, Im imagine honey and caramel. I could probably make that as a candle. It smells good. I think it smells good. I don't, it doesn't smell bad. It has some flavor smells to it. I just don't get anything that's really go, outstanding. Now you gotta go with it past your nose. With it, let's get a whiffer. It just smells watered down. I got it doesn't nothing. get any different? No. It's, I think if you go, you smell it. It's a, it's a good candle. Uh, I'm not saying it stinks. I'm not saying it smells like, you know, someone farted in my mouth. I like the smells. But it doesn't have any, it's just, I mean, I guess it smells better than that, but I'm not getting anything particular. I mean, let's, let's move on to the tasters. Definitely more notes on this one. I think it's smoother. It's more enjoyable to drink, but it's still no... Well, if you're talking about smooth, that's like water. I know, but this has like a... This has some notes It has to a go smooth it. taste that smooth feeling. Creamier, I guess. Creamier. But it's definitely not kicking like all kinds of great flavors. Just to get a little vanilla. A little taste, a little mm -hmm. caramel, but that's basic. That's the base. I think everything has that. Everything has that flavor. So it's like there's nothing unique that stands out about this. Makes this amazing. You hit it on the top of I your do, yeah, roof I get a it. little bit, but really, would I go to this for anything? No. If I was sitting it's in a very bar, bland. if I'm sitting in a bar and they have Caribou Crossing or Blantons, and I had to pick one of the two, same price, I'd probably go with Blantons. The Blantons all day. If I had to choose between this and Ancient Age, I would take Ancient Age. If I had to choose between this and Cooper's craft benchmark give me a $20 bourbon Evan Williams bottle and bond any of those would be over this I mean this is definitely not something that I would go chasing after no I will never buy this bottle again it's very bland it's not horrible it doesn't taste bad it's, it's just there's nothing a, to it I think it does have a bad aftertaste like it goes in and you the little the little tiny notes that it has and then it's nothing so let's it's do it's like a kitty litter Oh, that's not good at all. Let's do what do we normally do. Time up. You need to go get the blanks. No. I don't know if this is a good comparison. I mean, I guess we're doing comparison of the whiskeys of Canada. Poof. Put a little more in there. Uh, how about we not a little bit more? Just a tad. Now, are you going to do that with the crown? No, we're going to... The comparison really comes with the actual taste on its own. Now we're just going to drink this to see if we can enjoy it in any way. Okay. Because we always put it on the rock. while we're called on the rock. And I like this frosty glass we got going on. Yeah, I just put it in the fridge so the ice wouldn't melt. We don't I'd have be that. be prepared in advance. It makes it cooler faster. Go for it. There's no taste. Nope. As a matter of fact, it just makes it worse. It tastes like Crown now. I've never drank something in the ice, on ice that I, that made it worse. Uh, I don't think it makes it worse. Makes I it think worse. it makes it coldly flavorless. Yeah. And I know all you guys are like, if you already said it didn't have any flavor, why would you put it on the rocks? Well, because we're on the rocks. Well, that's not true. Um, <laughs> if is. you put a drop into water, just a little drop, or ice it up a little bit, it infumes those flavors. Activates. It activates them. I think you want to say infuse. Infuse, that's the word. Cool. Infuses the flavors, which activates them and makes a little bit more. It can, definitely more can. More notes, more it everything. Can. But some people but will totally disagree with you and say I, and it just waters it down, which is I, their opinion and your opinion. And they can, yours is right, theirs is right. It's what, drink how you like it. Yeah. And some bourbons or whiskeys 
it doesn't help it. putting a little ice in this and cool in it did nothing well i sort of i think i liked it neat more than i liked it cold i agree it is better neat i will not say i liked it better because i don't like it nothing this would not no i don't know it might have opened it up a little bit i don't think so i think maybe you just but might have didn't. you might have you might have just oh, real little but more made it worse this will not be something we add to our collection again sweet topper love the topper anybody want to give us toppers anybody want to tell us wait is there different toppers or is it, it just this one? Just oh, we already have the topper we don't need anymore so uh anybody want to tell us a canadian whiskey out on the market that is good because crown is not caribou crossing is out. i'll tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna time out one more time i'm gonna put a little bit more in there i'm gonna show you guys how you make this doable oh no what are you gonna do i mean the only thing you can do with it is put some sprite in it or some tea a lot of people do the bourbon and tea so this is how i'm so right we make right. this better now we can enjoy this that's like a what what is what was your go-to gambling crown and sprite crown and sprite he said it guys crown and sprite he used to drink now enjoy you know what throws me off this bottle it's supposed to be green it throws me off you know i went totally to the store trying to find we don't really drink coke or soda sodas in, in our the house. south we call it coke in our house neither of the kids none of the kids put a bottle of soda in the put some pop in the fridge it's not going anywhere but so i went to go try to find some sprite i thought i was looking at diet sprite and there was nothing but diet sprite there was no green bottles it throws me off completely don't even want to drink it so we bought this bottle and this bottle just for this video just for you guys we spent 12.99 12.99 <laughs> Way to go. This video. We bought this too. We thought this was for us, but apparently it was for you because it sucks. And but sometimes it's nice to have a little. But you know what this is going to be? Different. This will be for when the friends come over and we can like pop it out. Like, Look at this cool bottle and this awesome top. Here, drink this. We it's do allocated. have some bottles just for that. Yeah, because this sucks. Anyway, so forgot to do this at the beginning, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Don't forget about our Blanton's giveaway. Blanton's giveaway. But you want this bottle of Blanton's. All I need you to do is comment below and share this video and I'll put you in to win that bottle of Blanton. And you will have a chance to win. No cost to you. I'm going to incur it all. Shipping, bottle, everything. Coming straight to your house from us. No cost. Like the video, comment below. And this bottle right here will be all yours. We aren't going to give away the Blanton's of Canada. We're going to give away a real bottles of bottles. A real, a real bottle of Blanton's with the cool top with the actual letter on it. It's a T by the way in the box with the bag tea the for tennessee whole thing for you all you, you gotta do way is too much sprite in this it tastes so bad why don't you go ahead and just put the crown in here okay. it's all the same it all tastes like crap so um go to the blanton's video i'll tag it right here go to this video comment below and you and be subscribed comment to the blanton's video we will put your name in the uh, entry that's the word I want to use to win that bottle of Blanton's. How do you, what is the criteria to get there? Us getting to a thousand subscribers. If you're subscribed, you comment on that video. We get to a thousand. We're going to do a drawing and we will give that bottle away. And Homer really does go through every single one of the subscribers and writes a name and puts it in the paper and puts it in there. Sorry guys, I would not do that. He's for real. Like that video. And don't forget our, our great friends down in Florida at the Gramco. Gramco.com. Use our... Discount code DK on the rocks 20 to get 20% discount on all their awesome product gummies. Thegramco.com, DK on the rocks 20 to get you a discount on all their awesome cool products. Go to the website, check out what they have. If you want a Delta 8 product, best company out there to get your Delta 8 products, thegramco.com. Crown Royal, the king of Canadian whiskeys. Caribou Crossing, the newest, greatest, latest thing on the market. They both suck. Deck Night on the get rocks. some Sprite. If you're going to drink this, make it with some Sprite. Homer, Amy, are we done? Peace. Out. See you later, drunks. We'll edit that like that so it's like wow. Well, you have to do it before the glass comes out. I can read, cut it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Doesn't have it on their full size bottles, then we'll. Um, oh, the nipple's coming out.